part that I don't understand is you getting on my fucking nerves. I'm not getting on your nerves. You is getting on my fucking nerves. You getting on my fucking nerves. You getting on my fucking nerves. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. Oh, we got a problem here? We got a problem here? We got a problem now? All this because she needed to go to the dollar store to get some pads. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. The part that I don't understand is you getting on my fucking nerves. I'm not getting on your nerves. You, you know, is getting on my fucking you. nerves. You getting I'm on my fine. fucking nerves. Just tell you. You getting you on my fucking you nerves. Cry. You can't not cry. You yes, you could. Yes, you could. Yes, you we waiting here. We waiting here till one, one at night to pick they up the fucking load. You. We can go to fucking dollar store. They don't want you to drive that truck. What the fuck? Like, I'm getting irritated. I'm doing everything. I did my time. Calling the people and tell them to get me the fuck off this van now. Yeah, you get off right now. The fuck? Oh, take me home. The fuck? You're not about to leave me out in the middle. I ain't gonna be fucked up. Call them motherfucking people and tell them, give me, I ain't even driving no more. How about that? Fuck you talking about? Tell them I'm not driving no more. Give me the fuck off this van. Well, fuck well, you, you talking about? You, wanna... you know what I don't understand, young lady? You know, you're coming off entitled. Like something is owed to you. You understand these trainers, and I used to be a trainer myself. As a trainer, we're not responsible for your personal needs. The only job we're responsible for is teaching you how to drive the truck and making you successful for when you become solo. It's not our job to take you to the store. It's not our job to buy you things. None of that. Strictly how to drive the truck, how to back. You know, it sounds like you're making your personal problem, your trainer's problem. It's not his fault you ran out of pads. That's your problem. Now, you being on a trainer's truck, you should have made sure you had everything you need, and I understand you're a female, you know, maybe you forgot, maybe you ran out, but at the end of the day, that's still your fault, not his. Now, seeing as though he didn't want to take you, you know, there's other options. You could have taken an Uber, you could have taken a Lyft, uh, DoorDash, Uber Eats, Instacart. You know, there's a whole lot of options out there, but showing your ass online is not going to get your way. You know, sitting there telling your trainer you're getting on my effing nerves, you're getting on my effing nerves, saying that you're not getting off the truck, that you're not driving. If you would have told me that, I would have personally packed your stuff up and put you out myself, you know. And it sounds like you had a pretty patient trainer because there's trainers out there that will pack your stuff up, drop you off in the middle of nowhere and keep on going like it ain't nothing. Understand it happens out here. So it sounds like your trainer was pretty patient because you might get with the right one that's going to do you like that, you know. If he's getting on your nerves, find another trainer it's just that simple shout out to trucker d for this man and and shout out to trucker d for sending me this also also i like to shout out truck mafia because he sent me the update videos as well but listen man i i couldn't have said it better myself i couldn't have said it better myself man you can't put your personal problems onto your trainer it's just not his issue he's not there he's not there to to take you to the store when you need to go to the store because you don't have no pads you should have that before you got on the truck that's the stuff that you need that's your essentials what i say hygiene ain't that part of the hygiene haven't i been saying that for years guys hygiene bag everything that you need in your hygiene bag and if you're a female pads should be one of them okay but you if you having a problem with 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 the trainer like trucker d said you should just get yourself another trainer because all this bad energy negative energy is just making you look bad and sooner or later the company is just going to go ahead and cut their loss you will be <laughs> A decade in, <laughs> in a game. <laughs> Trainer extraordinaire. Night driver extraordinaire. And you about to move into other things. Bro, uh, I, 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 I need your thoughts, man. This this uh viral TikToker, female truck driver. <clears throat> uh I, I I just think that she feels kind of I don't know, entitled. Uh, very, very, very rude um, and disgruntled. What's, what's your thoughts on this video? Uh, she, 
What's what's your thoughts on this video, bro? I think the trainer was outstanding. <laughs> Honestly, like, did you listen to him? He has more patience than me. <laughs> I would have lost my top it's more than her. But, um, yeah, she's out of control, bro. Like, she doesn't, she's not a truck driver. That's one thing. Remember my little, uh, my motto about being a trucker, like, after two years? Like, I, I consider you a trucker. You know, because she's a prime example, exactly what I'm talking about. People who can't handle it. You know what I mean? Like, you can't even handle it. You don't even know what the hell's going on. Like, you just, you're breaking down in training. Like, you, you know what I mean? But she doesn't understand, like, you can't, you just can't go into, like, family, you know, family dollar stores are not meant for big trucks. Like, you know, you know what I mean? You ever see those? Or Dollar General? Like, you can't always drive a truck with her. So he might be right. I, I'm missing a lot of context, but she's out of control, bro. We don't know what started the argument. Obviously, she <laughs> must have asked the trainer, uh, hey, I need some pads. Can we run over to Dollar General or Dollar Store to pick up some while we're still getting unloaded, I guess? And and in the trainer's defense, he was like, well, no, nah, man, you know, we, you know, we can't just up and leave the trailer just because you need to go and get some pads, <laughs> you know? So that's true. I, I think that's why she popped her lid. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm is that saying? What, is, that what, is that what the cycle meant? I think it meant cycle like your drive shift. That doesn't matter. Because <laughs> she kept saying, I drove my cycle. I drove my cycle. No, yeah. she's on her She's on her period. She's on her period. Okay. So that could that's be. That's fucking obvious. Yeah. That, yeah. That's, <laughs> yeah. Um, but, Sorry. <laughs> but D Nitty, man, you being a trainer yourself. And we, we had this discussion before because we, we talked about another irate trainee and 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 trainer situation before so you put yourself in that situation what would you have done well what would i would have done if someone first of all i don't train females but if i was to train a female i would um she'd be fired in two seconds like i have i could do that <laughs> you know what i mean maybe not all trainers and stuff but like, she can show whatever video she wants. Like, oh, you can't go to the store. I mean, whatever. They Acting like an out-of-control person, like, you, you're showing mental instability. You shouldn't be driving a truck anyways. You'd be done in two seconds. I wouldn't even say anything. I'd just be like, no problem. I'll take you right back, and you get right, grab your bags, grab everything, and not jump to another truck. You can jump right into a bus and get the fuck out of there real quick. You wouldn't last, yo. If you acted like that, all crazy and stuff, because you didn't get to go to the store, you're going to get you're finished, like, like, I wouldn't, a female, like, I would do exactly what he did. You had to be really calm. You know what I mean? Especially with a female, because, like, you're a man and she's a girl. Like, you got to be very careful with that. That's why I don't even train it, because they can say whatever they want, you know? And I would just get her back to the terminal, and she would not drive the truck, period, ever again. And then as soon as she gets back, she'll be terminated. Now, Quick. now D. Nitty has that power to, uh, to say, hey, I, I I don't feel that she's a good fit for our company, um, and I I would suggest that you know we we cut our losses <laughs> with her right now. You know, D Nitty got that kind of power over at night. <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> but uh, but listen, bro, <laughs> listen, man. I mean, I I agree with everything you said, uh. And 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 by the sounds of it, that that particular trainer was 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 very calm, you know, in his demeanor. Like, oh, he's awesome. You know, he was he's just, awesome. you know, he was like he didn't holler back, he didn't elevate or nothing like that. But what he did do, though, he did call the police because she did make another video about him calling the police. <laughs> I feel him calling the police is a good thing too because let's just say that if he was to take her back oh she she could say anything right she could say anything in that situation and get oh he grabbed my ass he was hitting on me everything right so it was yeah, best nah. it, it, it was best for him to call the police because you did hear him before the video went out he was like hey you you want to go home you can get out you know, 
And then she was like, yeah. she was like, hey, uh, no, nah, you you taking me home? No, 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 no. We no, we're not moving. You getting out right now? Period. I'm not gonna put no. myself. I'm not gonna put myself in a situation <laughs> that that I may be compromised. I'm not doing that. Yeah, taking that. Uh, as a man, take, t- taking a female as a trainee is a high risk situation to begin with. So I, I, I wouldn't do it. But they, like I said, they, they can say anything. They get pissed off to act like that. They get pissed off at you and they want to get you back. They can say you try to touch them, you know, or you, you know, sexual harass them or you're trying to hit on them and stuff. And you do, you know, anything. It's just not a good situation for any, any man to be training a female, you know. In that particular situation where that trainer is in, yes, uh, he should cut his losses with that female. He should, uh, you know, if you don't feel comfortable, I understand, you know, hey, get off my truck. But that's what I tried to tell you people out here. You, uh, When I try to tell you new drivers, don't come in this industry broke. But y'all getting too enticed to come into this industry with no way to get home, no money. And and you you're upset. You're making TikToks talking about oh where the company fired me or I got kicked off the trainer's truck and I can't get home and it's the company's fault and this that and the third. No, it's not the company's fault. I did mention this before that the company could let you go anytime they want. What? I don't need you to tell me how fucking good my coffee is. Okay, I'm the one who buys it. I know how good it is. Bonnie goes shopping, she buys shit. I buy the gourmet expensive stuff because when I drink it, I want to taste it. But you know what's on my mind right now? It ain't the coffee in my kitchen. It's the day. Yeah, no, but they do have to get you. They, they do have to get you home. That's it. That's the law. So they could, they could kick you. They could kick you out of the truck, but you got to They got to provide a ride home. So like if, if they say, hey, we got you a bus ticket. That's legit. She has to jump on it no matter what. Okay, okay, you know I mean? so, uh, well, that's some companies. I, I heard other companies just leave you stranded. No, nah, you can't, you, you can't leave you stranded, it's illegal. Mm. I mean, okay. they, they, they probably can, but they're probably going to keep shit. Okay, that's fair, that's fair. You can't do that. You, yeah, no, you can't do that, because they take you out of there. So, like, what, what, what happens when you get hired? They they get you a bus ticket, they bring you over there, and then they're not just going to dump you where, in New Mexico somewhere? I don't know. Well, I, you know? I don't, you know can't. what, I you know what? I don't know. I mean, I, I, I have talked to some companies, bro, that like they'll get you out there for train or for orientation and stuff like that. But if if you don't make it through, they'd be like, yo, it's your responsibility. Yeah, yeah that's to orientation. Get home. It, so if you fail your drug test or something, if there's some legal legal reason why you can't work for them, like say like illegal, like you're doing something illegal, like illegal drugs, say you fail a drug test, you're stuck. They don't have to do shit for you. You know what I mean? But if they take you out there and everything's all good and it just something was wrong with your work history or whatever, then they'll send you back. But if you if you fail a drug test, they'll leave you there. Boom, you're done. Is there something you're not telling them? Yeah, yeah no, I know that for a fact. That then then you gain legit reason to dump your ass. I know a company will be like, you know, bring the truck here to the terminal or go to the nearest terminal or something like that. I know that, you know, they'll do that. Um, when they do that, they can so they can Get them away yeah. home. Yeah, 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 like take them to a close terminal to the house or something like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's fair. Yeah, but they're, they're not gonna. They're, they're not gonna. They can't just straight up say, "Get the hell out of the truck and you're done." No, they, they can't. I mean, they did. I mean, I know some drivers that have been done that way, but I, I guess what you're saying, you know, not all companies are that way. At least they'll try to try to get you back home but but still that's here nor there you should still have some money or a credit card to make sure that you get your way home yeah and you should be prepared when you should be prepared right but again bro if a trainer don't feel comfortable with you in his truck and he decides to leave you at maybe an airport or maybe a bus stop or maybe a truck stop, that's still in his right to do, right? And then the company, yeah, wait, wait, not, wait yeah. before you answer that. And then the company, it will be up to the company to get you either back to the terminal or back home, right? Right. So so, so the, the company will tell him where to go, be like, hey, 
take him to this hotel or take him here. They'll, they'll give you authorization. At least mine will. I can speak for mine. So like, you know, we're next to a terminal. Like I, I, I dumped one student my whole, my whole career with night. Like uh, the first one, he said he's, he's going to tell border patrol to go fuck themselves. I'm like, not my truck. He's like, fuck that. They asked me for my ID. I'm telling him to go kiss my ass and fuck them. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, you know what? I'm taking you to your new home, bro. He goes, what you mean? I was like, going to El Paso yard and fucking dropping your ass off. <laughs> Just like that. And I dropped him off. It's a night terminal. So now they had to de- deal with him. You know what I mean? Because you're not going to flag my truck and tell Border Patrol anything stupid. You know what I mean? Not, it just took one comment. I just dumped his ass. You make one stupid comment, you're going to do something stupid in my truck. That's it. You're finished. I won't even say nothing to you. I just took him right to the yard to get him the fuck off the truck. There's no issues, no nothing. You know what I mean? Just imagine the trainer trying to tick you off to get put out on the side of the road. I've been recording this whole entire time. He talk about calling the police. The DM told me I got to get off the bus. Guess what? He don't even know that I rec- recorded his messages. He don't even know I know what they just said. But the DM told me I have to get off. Get off. You see what I'm saying? All oh, that was a lie. I've been recording this whole time. Everything happened already happened. I'm not, I'm not acting out none of that. I've been recording. I'm going to the terminal and I'm going home. I got other job office. office. I'm not staying here. All y'all just crazy. Y'all, manip- y'all manipulate people to get them here. It's all lies and y'all get mad because people don't want to accept y'all lies. Y'all truck drivers are so fucking narcissistic, including the company. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, you're going to have to get up off my truck. Mm-mm. I can't put up. I, I cannot put up with with an attitude. You 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 got the attitude. You got the I don't want to learn attitude. You got that that negative energy attitude. We, we cannot have that type of vibe on the truck. So, yeah, I want you off the truck. If that was me, I want you off the truck. You're you're behind this man, all up in his phone, all up in the conversation between him and, and the dispatcher, which, you know, he should have probably should have stepped outside, but he wants you off the truck. And if that means dropping you off at an airport, dropping you off at a truck stop, dropping you off at a hotel and let the company worry about getting you home then yeah that's what we're gonna have to do that's what we're gonna have to do i i'm i'm sorry i'm sorry new driver but you're you over here talking about the company this and the company that you're supposed to be there to learn you're not supposed to be there to 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 try to train this dude and get mad at this dude He's trying to train you the best way he can. And he can't do that with this negative attitude that you're giving him. So, yes, you're going to have to bounce if that was me. She did come back with a, with an update video. And uh, in that particular update video, she was talking about, you know, how her trainer is, is a grinder. He works seven days a week. And she's not about that seven-day-a-week life. She wants to be home. She don't want to be out here in the truck. There's more to life, yeah. more to life than the truck. And I'm I'm here, you know, just just going on with some yada yada stuff, man. So let me give y'all a backstory on my training. My training work Monday to Sunday. He don't got no days off. He believe this company brainwashed the shit out of him. You see what I'm saying? He's scared to even stop at a store and shit like that. He just feel like trucking, truck stop just keep doing lows it's more than life than money i don't give a fuck about this shit i'm gonna live my life i'm not worried trying to be trying to be stuck on no truck you see what i'm saying i'm supposed to be home every weekend i have not been i have not made it home no weekends you see what i'm saying so i'm being nice and all that not saying nothing boom boom i'm writing them yeah i'm trying to get home or whatever i'm supposed to be dispatched from my house i'm supposed to took my truck and get dispatched from my house so now i had to kirk off now they getting shit done because i'm kirking off now i don't even want to fucking work for the company because guess what i got other options 
that's about to offer me more money. I got all my endorsements. I don't have to accept this job. But I'm just saying, don't be like my fucking trainer. Just brainwash working Monday to Sunday. This nigga work every day. Like, boy, back, let me the fuck off this truck. If you feel that way, uh, then the trucking industry is not for you. It just isn't. Yeah, well, I'm, it? I'm not saying that 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 it it may not be or whatever, but if you come and talking the way you talking like this, you know, you you want to do what you want to do, you can't do that in trucking. If unless you own your yeah. own truck. That's now that's different. If you own your own truck, then you then you're very well in a position to do whatever you want to do, live how you want to live, leave how you want to leave. But you're a new driver, driver. You're a new driver. driver. You coming in, you you coming <laughs> in the industry. You you need to learn. You need to learn all of this stuff. And it's better. You know what? It's better for you to learn all this stuff now than later. D, what's your final thoughts, man? Yo, she's not a driver. That's one thing. I mean, you keep saying she's a driver, but she she just admitted that it's not for her. And that's what I said before. Like you you find out. The first year you're gonna find out if it's for you. Two years you're gonna find out if you can actually hack it after all the drama, all the stress. Well, you know, remember I told you about like girlfriend issues or whatever the hell, not being able to go to the store. You know how many times I can't go to the store? I can't go to the store because I'm driving a truck or go to the bathroom because I, I, there's nowhere to park a truck. And I'm driving hours, like holding my shit. You know what I mean? Like they, you gotta you gotta have it in you, bro. Like you, you, she's already complaining about being out, you, you know, what, seven days a week or whatever. Like she's not meant to drive a truck. She needs a yard dog position by her fucking house. Where she could go home every day. You know what I mean? And that's that. She's not a truck driver. She's a yard jockey. You know what I mean? If she wants to drive a truck, it sounds good to these people. It sounds good. Oh, I can make all this money. I can drive trucks. I can see the world. Yeah, you sacrifice your whole life doing this shit. Everything's on the line every day you're out in the field. Your license, your career, your freaking job, everything. Your life, other people's lives, your freedom. You know what I mean? Like, it's not a joke, bro. Like, you can't just go out here and start fucking pulling temper chains and freaking the fuck out and doing whatever the fuck you want. You got to follow the rules. You know what I mean? And you're not going to see your family. You're not going to be able to go to stores. You're not going to be able to take a shit when you want to take a shit. You know what I mean? Like, you're not going to be able to go buy clothes when you want to buy clothes. You know what I mean? Like, it's a whole lifestyle change. So, you you know, you got to be ready for it. So, next. Put that coffee down. D Nitty trainer extraordinaire for night transportation. Congratulations, bro, on your upcoming uh ten year uh, anniversary, business. man. <laughs> um oh. <laughs> I mean could you could you have seen yourself uh ten years ago being in being <laughs> in trucking ten years later? Uh I <clears throat> this all happened by accident. <clears throat> So I, I went to, I went to work one day and I got I was in the cab and I got T boned by another cab and I couldn't use my shoulder I had to get a surgery and so I had to chill for a year and I couldn't work I was running out of money and my boy's a trucker and he goes you man you did a thing with Alan before he goes uh yo be a trucker bro you could do this shit you know and I was like I don't know he's like it's not hard like on your shoulders and your body so you, you'll be good so I asked my doctor if I could do it. And I and I called a, a place up, and I, I didn't know it was England. You know what I mean? I just feel like, yeah, go get your permit. We'll hire you. I needed work, and I just kind of got, I kind of just like fell into it by accident. You know, I thought it was a local thing. I ended up being over the road, and I was like, fuck you, let me just go and I'll do it. And I did it, and I liked it. You know what I mean? I liked it a lot, and I, it just kind of like, I grew on me. And I was like, you know, fuck this shit. I'm gonna quit my whole fucking career as an electrician and become a damn trucker instead. You know, and I just kind of just fell into it like that. As a trainer. Uh, what do you what what is your tips or suggestions <laughs> for new drivers uh when they when when they come out here and they get on your truck? What's what's your suggestions for them to bring? What kind of mindset you think they should have? What 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 do you think, bro, before we get on up out of here? Uh what I tell all my guys, I even told this kid, I said, listen, pack light. Don't bring luggage, don't don't do that uh space ball shit when you got all the suitcases full of shit you know what i mean pack light as you possibly can for the the weather that you're in you know what i mean if it's like winter time not, you know pack as light as you possibly can bring a pillow blanket whatever because you're not going to be on the truck for long so the lighter you are the easier it is to get out in case some shit happens you don't have all this cargo with you you know what i mean so um 
Yeah, but you think about it before you become a trucker, and so you don't have you know a situation like we just listened to happen. You know, if you think about it, if it's something you really want to do, if you could really handle being away from home and all this other stuff before you jump in the truck. And if you jump in the truck, just be quiet and listen, you know, and be understanding and try to figure out why you can't just drive trucks into family dollars and 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 little stores like that because you're not in a, you're not in a car anymore. You know what I mean? You're in a whole nother situation, a whole nother world. So just think about it and just listen to the trainer because he knows stuff that you don't know yet. And that's about his best advice I can give you. And just make sure you pack light. Pack light, you know? duffel bag, backpack, <laughs> and a hygiene bag. I've been telling y'all that for years. Yeah, exactly. And flip flops are the damn shower. <laughs> credit card, credit card, and maybe about $300 cash. That's all you need. All right, we're nope. out of here, man. Big G's got it locked, boy. Want you to love me all night, yeah, take me down. Want you to make me real wet, yeah, swim around. Want you to take it like a G, and yeah, I'll make a sound. And I want you to miss me when I'm not around. Come dive in my ocean, for my push. My love is like lotion. It's all over you. You all over me, cause you my little boo. How many times I gotta tell you, don't fuck around. The stick got you insecure, you me your feelings now. Don't start with all that crazy shit.